We are here with Senior Economic Analyst Gail Krummenauer to hear about employment figures for July. Gail, what was the story in July? Oregon's unemployment rate was 4.0% in July, and businesses added 2,400 jobs to payrolls. Where does the unemployment rate stack up historically? The July unemployment rate of 4.0% and the revised rate of 4.0% in June matches the record low unemployment rate for Oregon going back to 1976. We've seen over the past 33 months that the unemployment rate has been hovering at or near this record low in between 4.0 and 4.4 percent. Okay, so over the month Oregon added 2,400 jobs. Did any industries in particular gain or lose a lot of jobs? Professional and business services added the most jobs uh, with 1,300 added over the month. That includes a diverse set of business activities including things like architecture and engineering services, uh, headquarters of companies, and temporary help services. Healthcare and social assistance also added a large number of jobs with an increase of 1,100 over the month. And the biggest decline occurred in leisure and hospitality, which cut 1,100 jobs on a seasonally adjusted basis in July. So where do these job gains or losses fit into the bigger picture, uh, the bigger trend in Oregon? Over the past year, Oregon's added 29,600 jobs. That's an increase of about 1.6%. That's pretty closely in line with the U.S. growth rate, which has been about 1.5% over the past year. Uh, it is a little bit slower in Oregon in 2019 so far. Uh, on average, we've seen monthly employment gains at about 1,000 jobs a month so far this year, uh, and that's compared with about 3,000 monthly average in 2018. So what does this report mean? What do these figures mean for job seekers and businesses in Oregon? As we've been in this long stretch, almost three years of record or near record unemployment rates, it has been continuing to be a good time for job seekers to be in the labor market. Uh, on the other side of that, we do see businesses continuing to uh, detail some difficulty in hiring 